guys, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Bake Off with the family. Woo! This time though, instead of David, we have a new special guest, my brother Ty. <laughs> And so, in honor of it being Halloween soon, we thought it'd be fun to theme this bake-off around candy. So, we're all gonna go around, show you our chosen candy that inspired our recipe. So, my candy that I'm using in today's trick or treat bake-off is Pop Rocks, because I think it'll be fun. It's a little fun popping element. And some rock candy. Candy, and I'm going to be making like a pop rock fizz drink. It's gonna be so delicious. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, so my chosen candy is some candy bars and some candy corn and some caramel candy. Now I chose all. <laughs> I'm going more for the like uh, trick or treat Halloween type candy things that you would find around the holiday of October Halloween. Um, my plan is to mix these in with a cookie dough brownie treat. Mmm, that's gonna be so good. What do you have, Ty? I got Swedish fish, little gummy sharks, and nerds. Yummy, and what's your recipe? I'm gonna make an ocean jello treat. Ooh, kind of summer, but kind of fun. <laughs> so we're gonna start baking, but Katie and Ty are actually gonna start before me because I picked an easy one this time, guys. It will literally take me probably five minutes to make my drink. But Ty's recipe takes a little while because he has to make some jello, which needs to set in the fridge. And then Katie is making some brownies. So we're gonna get started with their recipes first. Alrighty, so I'm just making up the brownie batter. So I'm basically going off of my favorite cake mix. I'm not making these from scratch because I actually love Betty Crocker's cookie brownies. It's my favorite. So I'm making up the brownie mix, then I'm gonna work on the cookie mix. And then I think what I'm going to do is put the chocolate bars in the brownie mix. I'm gonna dice them up to small chunks. And in the cookie mix, I'm going to place the caramel and the candy corn because I want the candy corn to pop like after it's baked. I want to have some nice orange against the darker colors. So I think that will be fun. Okay, I'm opening the jug packet. I'm gonna pour all of it into this one. No, this one. So Ty just boiled mm -hmm. one and a half cups of water. Yeah. So he's pouring his jello packet oh, into there. Yeah. We're just following the recipe on the back of the jello box for the speed set method, because we ain't got all day, man. <laughs> so he got some blue jello. Yummy. And then you can stir that around. <laughs> I don't know where anything when you've never cooked a thing in your life before. Yeah, I have <laughs> Audrey's supervising him just to make sure. <laughs> yeah. So now we're mixing like blazing hot with super. You <laughs> <laughs> got to remove these ice cubes. <laughs> I think we're doing this right. I hope we're doing it this time. It's not gonna remove any. <laughs> so Ty's gonna do that and then he's gonna set it in the fridge for 30 to 90 minutes and then we'll uh, come back. But Katie, oh. oh my <laughs> gosh. Katie's not chopping up her candy. So what I'm doing is, because I'm looking at how much batter I have, normally I do make a double box. I do two boxes of these and make a big pan because I know we'll eat them all. Um, I'm only doing one box today, mostly because that's the only baking dish I have left. <laughs> the others are in use. Um, so I'm doing half of a of each of the candy bar bars. So there's three candy bars. So it's basically one and a half candy bars, and that seems like quite a bit of chocolate goodness yeah. that's going to go into the batter of the brownie mix. And then to the cookie batter, I'm going to add some chunks of caramel. I don't think I'm gonna cut these. I'm just gonna see if that caramel <laughs> gooiness will just like, like a pocket of caramel. Is. Exactly, because to me it sounds really yum, so I'm gonna unwrap. Really yum. Really yum. <laughs> yummy, <laughs> yummy. I'm gonna add unwrap. I'll probably add like five or six. So six too much. I'm gonna add six of those in, and then a handful. Oh! Oh, of candy corn, and I might, after I pour it in, add a few more on top. So how this is going to work is once I get my stuff mixed in, I'm going to put the brownie batter in the bottom of my baking dish, and then I'll spoon blocks full of the cookie dough batter on top of the brownie batter, and then I'll bake it. Okay, time for me to pour nerds in the bottom of these 
jar glasses thing, bowl thing. Things, these. <laughs> While the jello was cooling in the fridge. We're freezing or whatever. How much nerve? So this is like the. Oh. 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 So this is like the pebbles in the bottom of like your fish tank. Yeah. Because yeah. you're making like a little fish like, bowl, bowl thing. Fish. Yeah. So this is almost done. I want to show you what it will look like before it goes in the oven. Oh my goodness, this one has a lot of that caramel stuck. <laughs> it's going to be like one by one, <laughs> tons of caramel. I want to see what this will look like as it goes into the oven and then we'll check as it comes out because what happens usually is the cookie dough kind of fills in the spaces on the brownie. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to add just a couple more. So it'll melt together in the oven. Yeah, I that's the plan. <laughs> Hopefully. Ah! Oh, sacrifice one. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Corn. Corn. Oh, okay. okay, so this is what it's going to look like going into the oven. Let's see what it looks like when it comes out. <laughs> okay, mom's thing is all done. <gasps> oh. <laughs> um, oh my like, candy corn makes it look. It's oozing. Do you see it bubbling? And yeah, popping? I see it. <laughs> That's. Funny. Oh. Okay, I don't know whether I should hurry and sprinkle some candy corn on top now and let it kind of melt on uh, top. I think that might be. Would I have candy corn overload or should I put some on top? Should we... I'm gonna try one. Or two. Oh no! It smells good. See if it just kind of sits on top. It could be kind of Festive. cute. I should have done that originally. Oh, I you didn't can know. see it bubbling. <laughs> it's like a little That's volcano. Okay, so the jello is still a little bit runny, but I think it's a little bit thicker. So Ty is gently going to scoop it into these bowls so that... I want to move the bowl closer. <laughs> <laughs> so that we can put the gummies in and then uh, um, it'll set in its dish instead of in the Pyrex. That's one scoop, mom. Oh, that's gonna be a while. All right, his Jello has hardened a tiny bit. It's not hardened, but it's like in the perfect state to add in the fish. So, mm. oh, <laughs> you gotta poke him down. You gotta put him in the water. You gotta use your finger. <laughs> Is your finger clean? Did you wash it? Oh, we got the gamer uh, fingers, no! So we have some uh, assorted color of Swedish fish. And then in this bag, we have an assortment of shark gummies. So he's just gonna be adding a few of each to This one doesn't have fingers. a tail. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we gotta just like press it down into the fish bowl. It's hard to see him. You might have to come by the edge um, of the Yeah, I was gonna say... <laughs> oh, okay, that worked. Oh, that works. Finally, Chef Odge is in the house. Okay, this is how we make our Pop Rocks Fizz drink. So this is the setup. You're gonna need a small, just like a small bowl to fill with a little bit of water. You're gonna need a plate, and however many cups you have, however many guests you want to serve to. Then the ingredient, oh, and a tablespoon. And the ingredients that you will need is grenadine. It's just like a flavor syrup. I think it has like pomegranate flavoring in it. So it's mostly like pomegranate syrup. Never had it before, so this is a first taste test. Also, this is non-alcoholic. A lot of people do make like Pop Rocks cocktails, but this is a mocktail. And then we have some Sprite, which also since when did Sprite change their packaging? I thought I bought Sprite Zero or something. Because I remember the Sprite bottles being like tinted green, and then it's clear now. <laughs> the fly in the kitchen! Where'd it go? <laughs> Not to my kitchen. I got the power. <laughs> you also need, of course, your Pop Rocks candy. Because my drink is gonna be red. I just got strawberry Pop Rocks, but I guess you can use like any kind of... If you like want to make a blue one, that'd be kind of fun, and then just do different syrup. And then... I also have these rock candy sugar sticks that I'm going to add in and like you can use them as a little stir or whatever. Kind of fun, kind of fresh. You're going to open up your Pop Rocks and lay them on the plate because the Pop Rocks really don't even go in the drink. It's just outside the drink. <laughs> it's this hashtag clickbait. <laughs> so that's all. It's in a bag. Are you kidding me? 
what one little lick and then what we're going to do is we're gonna take a glass I'll do this for all of them but just to show you while I set it up then you're just gonna dip the edge of the glass in the water so there's a ring of water on it and then you're gonna <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> it's not even sticking! Come on, work. Activate. <laughs> Love the ASMR moment. Oh, it kind of worked. That's kind of fun and fresh. I'm just kind of smushing it on the sides because I feel like that's helping. I don't know. If anyone has any tips and tricks, let me know. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This was even worse. <laughs> Why did some work and some don't? <laughs> what am I doing? Maybe they're... Oh, What's maybe they're the water. Activated? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it works. <laughs> this is not looking that good. <laughs> Stick to the glass. I need honey. <laughs> Yeah, that that's actually got a good idea. Okay, we're actually trying the honey method. <laughs> See if it works. I'm just gonna put a dab of it on my finger and then run it around the glass and then put the pop rocks on it. So we don't want a lot of honey. We don't want it dripping down. It's working. It's working better, I think. Yeah, I got the chunks on there. <laughs> I need something. <laughs> this is hard to open. <sighs> got it. I am the strong one. <laughs> so next, my pop rocks are falling apart, guys. Okay, we are gonna need four tablespoons of grenadine to each glass. One. It's gonna be a while. Two. All right, so now I got the grenadine in there, so I'm gonna fill up the rest of each glass with some Sprite. <laughs> almost exploded. Can you imagine exploring the ruin all of my pop rocks? <laughs> I would be so sad. It's very bubbly though. I think it's because before I started, I was shaking it around. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's some close up action. Ew. ew. Look at that. Magical potion. No. Stay. So I'm just gonna fill all of them up with some Sprite. And then the fun part is you take your little Pop Rocks, or not Pop Rocks, you take your candy rock, <laughs> and get them out. And then this is like an accessory, but also a little stirrer. So you just, ta-da! All right, all of our treats have been prepared. Just so we have new judges this time. We have <laughs> David, who's usually a contestant, but now he's a judge. And Jake, former judge over here. Hey. Katie, I'm, I'm are here. you gonna be taste testing or not? I'll let you guys taste test and judge it. Okay. I'll taste after we're done. So this round was special, like this competition was special because we did not have any bad ingredients since from the last video, we all pretty much were big really good stuff like no one was the biggest loser <laughs> so we'll see if it, we can keep up that streak and uh, not get any more bad ingredients but who's we want to try first we want to start with the pop rock yeah. juice yeah okay so jake already called the clear one yeah so this is a pop rock fizzy drink so you use a little you put that in and stir up the stuff and then drink it i stir it yeah does it okay. react like is there a chemical there is a chemical reaction <laughs> I need help with that combination. <laughs> this is really good. Don't talk for me over here. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> Crunchy side. Mm. Do you oh, like it? it? Cherry Sprite. Yeah. Yeah, it does taste like cherry Sprite, which yeah. is weird because I think it's supposed to be like pomegranate. See, it has like a little like bit of a fun rocks. pizzazz. Got the candy stick, got the pop rocks, got the fun drink. This is like sugar, dipped in sugar. It's basically <laughs> like... With a rim of sugar. With a rim of sugar. It's basically like a lot of sugar. So... <laughs> yeah. Sugar We're all gonna hit a, a sugar high. We're gonna be bouncing off the walls. I like it. 
You guys well, I just prefer doing up. this. You just like dipping it? He's just like dipping, dipping like. <laughs> That's good. I liked it. Okay. Thumbs up for me. I think that was pretty thumbs up. Mostly yeah, thumbs, thumbs up. up. You got four thumbs ups. Woohoo! I'll give it a thumbs up even though I haven't tasted it. Just on presentation, that rocks. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Uh, it's like a. How do you even say this? It's a fish the ocean fishbowl. It's like an ocean fishbowl thing with. There is Swedish fish somewhere in there. And somewhere there is the here? sharks on top. What's on the bottom? The sand. Uh, that is uh, nerds. Nerds. So again, this is a layer of sugar with sugar. <laughs> this is the candy episode, the candy. okay? We have to like take. You gotta take it deep. A deep scoop so you get the all deep the ingredients. Okay. So I got a little. I feel here. bad. I'm really you can scoop into that bowl. <laughs> oh my god! Nobody's gosh. double dips. Here, I've, got, I've got sand, I got fish, and I got. Yeah, you gotta dig water. deep and get the rocks. Oh, oh the rocks. Ew! Yeah, look good. Ew, I got like weird liquidus. <laughs> Ew! That's the rocks. <laughs> That's the rocks. <laughs> Ew, what happened? <laughs> I mean. It's good because it's sugar. It's oh. just a lot of. It's like bam, hit you. Sugar. Like that's a lot of sour right there. The, it is sour because um, of the nerds. I don't like the Jello. I like that was my I, favorite part was the Jello. It tastes weird. It smells weird. It, okay. I'm thumbs sorry. I, I give it a medium thumbs. thumbs. Sideways thumbs. Two thumbs down. What do you give yourself? <laughs> okay, so mine is called your leftover Halloween candy. <laughs> this is leftovers? There's a little bit of hot sauce right here. It's not, it's kind of not hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay, sure so there's the vibe. You just have to, somebody needs to do the honors and cut it out. It's in the bottom uh, brownie mix layer, there are candy bars that are broken up and put in there. In the cookie, there are candy corn and caramel. I like it. But it's too shiny. But it gets all over my teeth. Oh, God. Ew! <laughs> no one wants to see, see that. that. <laughs> Kind of We're trying to chisel out your leftovers. Yeah, you kind of just have to scoop Can it Can you out. taste the candy bars in it? No. You can't? It no. just tastes like a regular What kind of candy bar? So we used a thousand, or a hundred grand, sorry. A hundred grand. Thousand. <laughs> Twix and Milky Way. Wow. No, I just taste the brownie mix in the... Yeah, you only taste the brownie. I, I didn't yeah. eat any of the candy corn. That's and interesting. I, and I the top it's bar. caramel and candy corn. So you're, you were bound to get some kind of candy in your... I taste there's the caramel. Yeah, there's definitely caramel, but hmm. it's maybe that's just the mix in of the it's brownie a, mix. It it's just, a brownie with extra sugar. Yeah. Yeah, there literally is that. It's sugar on top of sugar. Too much <laughs> sugar. Yeah. I sugar. Give a, a thumbs up. Thumbs up? What are you ranking? No. Okay. I'd, I'd make these again and eat them. Okay, so with two side thumbs, that makes. Ty, the loser of this challenge, meaning whoever of the boys it participates next time. <laughs> well, they have you the one at the punishment, so it's either one of you three. Let us know in the comments down below, though, whose candy treat you would like to try. But that's going to be it for today's Bake Off competition. We hope you guys enjoy these weekly Bake Offs. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.